Uh, okay, so in this video uh, we'll be discussing the uh, effects which can be set up for the Paladin archetypes found in Xanathar's Guide to Everything for Fantasy Grounds. Um, we've uh, already created our level 20 Paladin, haven't bothered with abilities or anything like that apart from his charisma. Um, and if we have a look at the Actions tab, we've already uh, put the Oath of Conquest uh, uh, archetype in here. So we can go straight in and have a look at it. Uh, the first thing that we've done is we've separated out the channel divinities from the uh, conquest. Let's have a look at that. We've uh, separated out the channel divinities and we've put the rest of the abilities into its own uh, power group. Uh, the reason we've done it this way is because the channel divinity is only available once, whichever of these options are chosen. Um, and if we have a look in the uh, power group uh, dialog, we can see we've set the ability to charisma so that any saving throws or anything like that are um, uh, correctly computed. And we've also entered the number of uses uh, uh, for a, a short rest so that a uh, once these are used up, a short rest will bring them back. It's better to do it this way because whichever one of these we choose, um, they will all go away uh, and uh, they'll come back again on a short rest. Uh, we could, of course, do this with the uh, preparation mode, but then that gives them uh, individual uh, timers rather than uh, an overall one. Um, so let's look at the two channel divinities first then. Uh, we've got uh, two options, a uh, conquering presence and a uh, guided strike. The conquering presence um, forces a creature that you can see to make a saving throw uh, and if it fails then it's uh, frightened for a minute. So a fairly simple one, uh, we just need to set up the save. We can uh, accept the group DC. Uh, put the type in here um, and then uh, on a failure then we just add the frightened condition onto the target. Uh, we should uh, also have made this say uh, one minute. And the other one, the guided strike, um, uh, now technically we can't really set up an effect for this because um, you make an attack roll and you can use your channel divinity to add a plus 10 to the bonus, uh, to the roll, um, but you make that choice after you see the roll. So uh, whilst we have set up an effect here of attack 10, um, that isn't correct because we shouldn't roll the 10 uh, along with the uh, the d20. So this really would be best done uh, manually. But uh, it's included here simply for the uh, checkbox so that we can uh, tick it off once we've used it uh, uh, so that they, they both go away and uh, we can keep track of everything. So let's have a look at the other features then. The Conquest Oaths, Oath spells, uh, we, we can not set effects up for that. Of course, that's just a list of spells that you get for this particular uh, oath. Um, and uh, the next one we can look at then is uh, Aura of Conquest. So the Paladin has an aura, uh, and if a creature is uh, frightened of you that's uh, in that aura, then its speed is reduced to zero and it takes uh, psychic damage equal to half your Paladin level. Um, so there's nothing we can do about the speed being reduced, etc. We could set up an effect which um, goes on to the NPC just saying speed zero or something like that. Uh, but um, it's not absolutely essential uh, and the creature takes damage equal to uh, half your paladin level. Now uh, this one is tricky to set up. Um, what we've done is we've set up the uh, set it up as a damage effect. We've just added in the statistic here uh, for paladin and then we've reduced uh, that because th this is the level 20 paladin so that will give the um, bonus 20. Um, and so we've reduced that by minus 10 because there isn't a way that we can actually uh, do uh, half damage in this way uh, and we've given it the damage type psychic. Uh, now the, uh, this, this actually works um, properly uh, if the uh, character is a multi-class character because only the paladin part of it uh, comes in. Uh, so we could 
we could do this um, in another way by using a, a damage half level but the half level in that particular instance is half the character's level and not just half the paladin level. So that would work if the, it was just a pure paladin, but as soon as you multi-class, then um, that won't work. So this is the best way to, to do this. And in fact, it's the only way to do it, really, because the damage isn't uh, additive. It's not adding into any other damage. It's just simply something which happens if uh, a creature wanders into your aura. So this one would have to be uh, adjusted um, each time the Paladin leveled up. Um, and the uh, the next one is the Scornful Rebuke. Um, and uh, whenever a creature hits you with an attack, that creature takes psychic damage equal to your Charisma modifier if you're not uh, incapacitated. Um, so again, we've just set this up as a damaging effect and we've given it the Charisma statistic uh, and we would just drag and drop that damage onto the creature at the appropriate time. Um, now, we now come to the Invincible Conqueror. Uh, so this one... Um, well, first of all, uh, this one can only be used uh, once per long rest. So we've gone into preparation mode and made it one daily. Um, and for the uh, effects, we can do the resistance to all damage. That's fairly straightforward. Uh, we've given this one a name, Invincible, and resist all for a minute, set to self. Um, and the next bit is Theater of the Mind. You get an ad additional attack. And this last one, uh, you score a critical in a 19 or 20. We can't set up an effect for that. Uh, we've set up just a, a reminder effect uh, to uh, uh, hit our critical in a 19 or 20. Uh, the only way to set up um, this kind of thing is to go into the weapon metadata. Um, and we can uh, adjust this figure here. So if, if we wanted to do this, we could uh, change the 20 in this melee to 19, uh, and that would uh, automatically uh, score criticals on a 19 or 20, and then it would automatically do uh, critical damage, etc. So that can be done, and of course it can be edited at any time. So uh, it could be done for the, the at the start of the uh, using this uh, ability, and then uh, set reset it back to twenty uh, once the ability came off, if you remembered. Um, so that's the only way you can actually uh, create a an additional uh, critical uh, range. Um, Right, okay, so that's the Oath of Conquest. Um, we'll now pause the video and I'll add in all the effects for the Oath of Redemption and we'll come back and look at them when I've done. Uh, okay, we've set up the effects now for the uh, Oath of Redemption. Um, now you'll see that uh, we've again set up the Channel Divinity separately from the uh, other abilities. And you'll also see that we don't have the protective, uh, sorry, the Aura of the Guardian anywhere. Uh, the reason for this is that we can't set up any effects for this. Uh, essentially, uh, you take the damage that uh, someone else would have taken. Um, so as I said, there's no effects we can set up. So the way we would do this uh, would be that if uh, Orc 1, for example, uh, decided to attack uh, Rani here and did some damage to her, um, then uh, what you would need to do would be the uh, Paladin decides that they're going to intervene here. Um, and so uh, the Paladin takes the damage. So we would simply uh, drag this uh, number here and just add it to the Paladin's wounds. And then we would hold down CTRL uh, and drag the number back onto Arani, and that'll uh, heal her for the same amount of, of points. Uh, so that um, that would be the way you would do that, but you can't set up effects for it. So let's have a look. At, and the uh, oath spells, of course, are not uh, uh, available to make uh, effects for either. So um, let's have a look at the channel divinities then. Uh, we've got uh, two. We've got the uh, Emissary of Peace, uh, which basically just allows you a, a five-point bonus to your uh, persuasion checks for ten minutes. So uh, a fairly um, simple uh, effect for this. Skill five persuasion lasts for ten minutes, uh, target self, and that's it. 
Um, and the next one is you can use your channel divinity uh, to force the attacker to make a saving throw and on a failed saving throw the attacker takes radiant damage equals the, the, to the damage it just dealt or on a successful save it takes half as much but again we can only set up we can set up an effect fairly easily for the uh, wisdom saving throw but again we can't really uh, do anything about the uh, the damage uh, effect wise i've set up uh, one one possible way to do this um, is that you uh, create this effect one radiant uh, and then just um, go in and change that damage amount there to the uh, appropriate amount and then just drag it on to the target but it's another one of these uh, where uh, the easiest thing to do is to simply take the damage and uh, drag it from the uh, chat line back onto the target uh, now the only problem with that is that unless the target uh, is actually dealing radiant damage the appropriate and correct damage type uh, won't be made it'll be untyped damage um, so if the attacker had resistance or immunity to radiant damage for example or was vulnerable to radiant damage um, then you um, you would have to deal with that um, so if for example uh, this uh, orc here uh, dealt radiant damage rather than slashing um, there's a couple of things you can do if uh, if it does the damage you can see that it's done nine points of damage um, now if the orc um, was resistant to radiant uh, then what you could do is to right click over the number and then uh, click on half and then drag that onto uh, the orc and it would do uh, half the amount of damage that it uh, should do because it uh, it changed that number obviously six plus three is nine so by clicking on uh, right clicking and selecting half has changed it to four so you you could uh, you could do it that way but again the the actual damage type is is untyped here um, you could also of course you could go to the number and you could double the value make it 18 if it was vulnerable to radiant damage and then just drag that on so it, it, it's a certain amount of uh, manual uh, calculation or a manual uh, intervention required. We can't set up effects to wholly automate it. Um, so that's the channel divinity part. Um, we've got the uh, emissary of uh, redemption here. Um, and this uh, gives you resistance to all damage dealt by other creatures and whenever another creature attacks you it takes radiant damage equal to half the damage you take from the attack so uh, again this isn't one that we can uh, easily uh, do effects for we can do the resist all uh, and again we've got this uh, problem with the damage type um, we can easily enough as we've seen uh, drag the damage back onto the uh, attacker uh, and uh, deal half damage but uh, getting the damage type um, we would need to finesse that and work it out uh, manually um, so that's that one and that just leaves us with uh, protective spirit um, now protective spirit says that if you're in battle um, and you have got uh, less than half your hit points then you uh, regain 1d6 plus half your paladin level of hit points now there is an effect that we can set up for this um, we can use the if statement and we can test to see if the character is bloodied and bloodied tests to see whether or not the character is at less than half hit points and then we can use the regen uh, function uh, to regenerate half level half level will um, give give us half the uh, level uh, or the characters level and then uh, we've got another regen here for the 1d6 and we just place this on self and it just stays so let's see this in action um, we can place it on the paladin so it's, a, it's appeared on the paladin um, and we've got less than half wounds here. We've, we've got 70 wounds out of 124 hit points, so we're well short of our full uh, or half level. So if we move this combat tracker on now, you know, when it gets to the paladin, 
the uh, test is made if we just move these out of the way slightly uh, we can see that the paladin healed 10 points from its level and then rolled a d6 and healed a further uh, 6 um, and that has brought it down to less than half hit points, uh, more than half its hit points. Now. So if we go through again, uh, we see that the function doesn't uh, happen because the paladin has got more than half its hit points. So there is a way to set up this effect. Um, there are a couple of caveats. Uh, the first is that uh, H level uh, is half the character's level and not half the uh, paladin's level, which is what the uh, ability specifies. Um, so if uh, this character has multi-classed, then this is going to give the uh, incorrect result. Um, the other method of uh, dealing with this, if you are a multi-class character, would be to create another effect, um, just a heal effect. So you could come in here and create the heal effect here. Um, we've got our 1d6 and we just uh, swing this round to... Uh, Paladin, uh, and that would give you the uh, the correct result. Um, but uh, I, I kind of like this uh, effect here. Um, this one is probably better if you're multi-classing, uh, and this one can be used if you're a, a full Paladin. Um, okay, uh, so I think that's uh, it for the uh, Paladin, um, and so thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.